The economic fallout from the coup in Myanmar early this year continues to get worse. Over the past month, the nation's currency, the chat, has lost more than 60% of its value against the dollar. That's because sources of external income like farm exports and investments have dried up due to supply chain issues and security concerns. As a result, the price of imported oil has more than doubled this year. Myanmar remains one of the world's leading rice producers, but the industry has been hit with rising costs and lack of access to credit. So the price of the staple has also gone up about 40%. As challenges mount, the World Bank expects Myanmar's economy to shrink by as much as 18% this year. For more on the story, let's bring in Chao Win. He's an activist and founder of the Burma Human Rights Network based in London. Welcome to the program. Now, prospects aren't bright for Myanmar. The World Bank expects one million jobs lost and the poverty rate to more than double just this year. Could you give us a better sense of the type of disruption that's happened under this current regime and what exactly is their plan for the economy? Uh, as you see that uh, historically, <clears throat> military never able to uh, uh, never able to bring the economy better you know, under the hand because they are super corrupted. They are from top to bottom. They are all corrupted. So all what they ha what happened is the country became getting poorer and poorer, and the, they the generals become rich and richer. Bear in mind that the Burma is a naturally naturally very natural resources a very rich country. We have so many minerals and 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 uh, you know. Uh, 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 like gold, uh, jewelries, and so many things we have, and even oil and gas, but all this money going to the general's pocket, not to the not to the public, and not not they never invest. They're not investing enough to uh, countries infrastructure like hospitals, like roads, like bridges, schools, educations. So they never build like this. You know, they already they have uh, great investment in in the. Uh, Vietnam, like China, like Singapore. Singapore, they have a billions of money in their accounts. And Singapore is one of their safe haven to uh, Singapore and Vietnam now. And, and they have a, there is a safe haven for them to, 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 to keep their money, illegal money, you know, all this money in, in, in the banks. This has been several years, not several decades, to be honest with you. I mean, many years they've been doing this. Okay, let's talk about foreign aid now. The UN says the international community has failed to help Myanmar through the pandemic, but they also say that the current leaders aren't exactly the ideal stewards for all the foreign resources that may come that Myanmar needs. What kind of international response would you like to see to help the country? Look, international community did help in the, before the coup happened. But since the coup happened, this any money coming into Burma is not going to receive the people. You know, I have a very uh, recent example. There is a township in, in Rangoon, uh, other side of Rangoon, uh, they're called Dala. Some Japanese NGOs are distributing rice and some food staples to the people. But authority is charging money for this. So this, this is happening many places in Burma. So the military makes sure that they, they impose four cuts. Four cuts mean they deprive of food, deprive of information, financials. As you see that the, all the cash money in the bank is now under the control of the military. The reason why they did is because they don't want anyone to receive any financial support to continue the uprising. That's what they want to make sure. But if they fail, they, they've been saying that they are, they, the country will be under the control within March. But it is now nearly more than six, seven, eight months now. They cannot control that anymore. And you see that the dollar price. The dollar rate, money, uh, the chart, one U.S. dollar was, before the coup happened, one U.S. dollar was 1,300 chart at that time. Now, yesterday was shockingly, and the highest rate in, in, in the history of Burma, 3,000 charts for one U.S. dollar. But today, it fall down a little bit, but it's going to hit another time to the ceiling again. And the gold price also almost doubled. So that means the economy in, the Burma, in Burma is look at for the majority people who are the most of them are poor and uh, you know their incomes are very limited income they are suffering hugely and and medicines and, and shortage of medicines and doctors this is an all another clear creating a failed state right very troubling situation in myanmar thank you again for joining us cha win from the burma human rights network in london thank you